is going to be a general love reading for all signs. Um, you guys might be able to get a sneak peek of me in my little... <laughs> I did a reading earlier for someone. And I was laughing because I could realize that you could see my reflection in this thing a little bit. But how do y'all like my new setup? It says, every day I'm hustling. That's my little... That's my new motto. Every day I'm hustling. Yes. Yes, queen. So, this is going to be a general love reading for the collective. Um, I don't even really have all of my decks set up that I want to use, but yeah, let's just dive right in. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start out with my Monara deck. This one does have some sexual images, so if I... I'm going to have to cover the sexual parts so I don't get flagged. But, um, the sexual energy swirling around the twin flames is really, really strong. So, I wanted to go ahead and tap into it and see what we could see. So, this is going to be a timeless read for all signs. If the title brought you in, there's a reason for it. Um, just going to... Shut that door a bit. All right, let's dive in. All right, tapping now into the collective twin flames, which watch me. What do they need to know? Okay, she's fully clothed in that one, thank God. This is, excuse me. The lightness of being, number 18. So, <clears throat> the butterflies represent the soul. Um, this is about being light in your soul. It's about um, understanding that we're here to just exist, to just be. There is nothing that we have to be doing. Um, and there's a certain sort of freedom that comes with that. So, focusing on yourself is what is going to draw your twin right into you. Um, you know, doing your own thing. I mean, look at the Divine Feminine in this. And this is a feminine deck. So, you know, during this part of the reading, I might just be just tuning into the Divine Feminine aspect of this Twin Flame cycle right now. Number 18, if you add 8 and 1, it's 9. So it's the number of um, getting ready to complete cycles in your life. So the Divine Feminine right now is focused on herself. She is focusing on completing um, different levels of her timeline journey. She realized that her soul is whole and she never needed anything to complete her. Whoa. My God, cars just flying out. All right, so we have number 15, protecting your feelings. If you add five and one, it's six. So, you know, it's the number of spirituality. So there's the divine feminine right now is learning to set up healthy boundaries. She is learning to protect her feelings. Um, she might be masking her feelings from her masculine because she doesn't feel like it's safe right now to open up to him. You know, um, or this could be the masculine, but, you know, it feels like a feminine because there it's a feminine, right? Um, these are feminine energy cards. It's about tapping into the divine, divine feminine energy. So, you know, she might not feel safe right now with her masculine for whatever reason. Um... Maybe they're in a point of separation, and so she's focused on herself. She set up some firm boundaries. She's showing her independence, <clears throat> and there's nothing wrong with that as long as she knows that, you know, when is the correct time to be vulnerable and to be open to her masculine, right? All right, and okay, so hopefully the booty is not showing with the, I'm going to use the bunny to cover the booty. <laughs> Is the booty showing? No, there's no booty showing. Okay, this one I'm definitely going to have to cover. 
because there's boobies. Um, this is number one, the fire of desire. So the divine feminines are definitely learning how I can't put that card up there because I will get flagged. Um, but so it's a divine feminine. She has a dragon on her arm. So the divine feminines are learning to follow their own desires and their own passion. They are working their butt off to create their dream life. Um, they're not worrying about what the masculine is doing. They are focusing on their creativity, their desires, their wants, their needs. Um, they're calling on their dragon guides and they are like full throttle with their passions. And I feel like that's why a lot of the masculines are like, they're just like, wow. They're like in awe because they're like, holy moly. Like they're not used to this type of dynamic. They're not used to the divine feminine being like, I don't need you. If I want you, that's totally different, but I don't need you. I can make my own money. I can make my own dreams come true. I can follow my own bliss. You know, I'm not in this energy of needing you to fulfill me because I fulfill myself, right? So it's completely got the divine masculine all in a tizzy, tizzy whizzy. He's all confused and discombobulated. All right, let's pull from my Lisa Frank deck. What the frick happened? All right, what else do we need to know? I might go down there and get another deck in a minute. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. Probably, whoa, shabba la la la, death. Patience, temperance, balance. So for some of you, there's a very strong angelic energy coming from this. Some of you have had, I this card keeps coming out and as a channel for me as well. Um, some of you may have had lives together in the angelic realm. So meaning your life before this one where you reincarnated as a human, you lived in the angelic realm. And if you guys have been following me for a minute, you'll know that um, in my past readings, I talk about how I had lives, past lives in the angelic realm. And, you know, so it's... It's basically like in this past life, I lived as an angelic incarnate. I was an angel before I came down to earth. That was my last past life, right? And, you know, all of our timelines, whatever, there's no assisting really these past lives because every timeline exists simultaneously, right? Um, but, you know, so you might have had a lifetime with this person in the angelic realm as angels and then you chose to reincarnate here to help the ascension process um also spirit is asking both of you to be patient because there's a lot of changes going on in both of your timelines especially for the divine feminine so the star it's about not giving up hope on your connection because you know, things are going according to plan. If you can't see the plan, it doesn't matter because God sees the plan. The divine has a plan. Last card. The chariot. See? So there's going to be movement. There's going to be... Some of you might live far away from each other. You're going to have some distance. You're going to have to work on smashing that distance. And, you know, spirit has a way... Of finding a way to get you guys to be closer together. So if there is distance between some of you, which I feel like a lot of twin flames, there is distance between you, whether it's physical or, you know, um, emotional, that distance is going to be bridged. The chariot is about, 
you know, bridging distances. It's about traveling. So traveling, either physically traveling to see your twin or, you know, emotionally traveling and bridging that emotional gap so that you guys are closer, you know, so that if some of you that are not in communication are going to be in communication, um, it's, it's bridging the gap and going the distance for each other. All right. One sec. All right, let's do a Bodhi Tarot card for the collective. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Certain relationships in your life are ending. It may be painful, but trust there's a bigger plan for you. And I was just literally saying that, right? I was saying that, you know, for some of the twins, if you're in separation and there's endings, it's for a reason. It might feel painful, but the the divine has a plan. God has a plan, which is different from yours. And everything happens for a reason, for your highest good. And it's everything in divine timing, right? Right. Okay, so we are going to do one of these cards, which is Power of Love Activation Cards. Um, and then we're going to do um, the, oh God, what is this card it's called? Tarot of the Heart. Um, it's the same, the Major Arcana cards. I want to see if we have repeating energies for the twins. And then we're going to do an Angel card. And Angels and the Ancestors card, and then we're going to end with the message from your person. That was a terrible shovel. All right, let's get one of the activation cards and see what is being activated in the twins right now. These are Power of Love activation cards. It lets us know what's being activated in the twins right now at this moment in time. So we have cooperation. So you are learning to coexist and <clears throat> you are learning to um share energy and do it in a way which is efficient and in a way which you guys are going to you are basically preparing yourselves for your future together you're learning to cooperate um you know regardless of what's going on in the outside experience Know that you and your twin are always cooperating and always working together for union. It doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside. That doesn't matter. Okay, cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. So this is about knowing that you're exactly where you need to be in your journey. Every person that you meet has something of value to teach you. Every person that you meet has... Um, some sort of experience in which you will learn from and it's about trusting the cooperation that you have with your twin and with the divine okay so if you are trying to manifest the energy of love realize that you don't have to do that because first of all you are love it is your natural state so just repeat to yourself I am love but you also have to understand that every single person you come in contact with is showing you something about yourself. So trust that, okay? Okay, so you are activating cooperation within yourself and within your twin. You're learning how to work together. Perfect. I'm drinking tea. Okay, so... We're going to see, um, actually, let's do an Angels and Ancestors card first to see what um, your ancestors have to say, if anything, or, you know, what angel or what ancestor is working with you, what whatevs, whatevs, right? Let's shuffle one more time. The power of three, right? Oh, God. Please just shuffle. Okay. All right. What we got here? Who is the energy that is assisting the twins at this time? <clears throat> what is the energy?
energy assisting our beautiful twin souls at this time. Woo! We have Shaolin Master. Be graceful in movements and action. I actually don't know much about this. Um, um, guardian spirits. But... Um, Right away, I'm sensing very strong dragon energy. If you look, there's a dragon, right? So, oh, there's a praying mantis too. So this could be someone who works with dragon energy. They might have a dragon guide. They might have a mantis guide. Um, incredible. Um, they could have very, like, Buddhist-type energy. Um there's prayer beads on this masculine's wrist. So they might have a very patience type energy. Um, let's, oh, shit. <laughs> let's read about this. Actually, I'm barefoot. I have shorts on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, my God. I hope you can't see my booty from that angle. Um, in the freaking... <laughs> I cannot. Did I get all the cards? I think so. One of my daughter's tarot cards is on the ground. And look, it's the three of wands. Celebration. There are no accidents, right? I went down to get my cards that I dropped and that was down there. This is from my daughter's tarot deck. Look. Celebrating. Some of you are going to be celebrating something with your twin real soon. Oh my gosh, there are no accidents. Okay, so I want to read a little bit, little bit about this Shalin Mesta. All right, 66. Let's see, what, what you got to say? I've never drawn this card before, so I have no idea what the hell is going to say. Okay, slow and steady, breathe and flow, take a gentler approach. The Shaolin Master calls forth the ninja within. Oh, y'all. I don't know what that was. Sorry. <laughs> Shaolin medicine is about learning to adapt to a situation and to tap into the energy running through your body and preserve it in order to release it at the right moment. Okay. It also teaches sub, sub, subtility because when you are too forceful, you use too much energy and that may not be supportive of what you're working on. So be subtle, okay? Um, the Shaolin master, like a monk, see, I said Buddha energy, right? Has respect for all things. He is disciplined and guarded by his arts and will never use it to impress the foolish or to appear stronger than someone who's threatening him. You too are invited to remain graceful in your movement, choices, and actions. So I feel like this is a divine masculine. He's learning to be patient. So... For some, I feel like the Divine Masculine is really wanting to come forward and, like, express how he feels and he wants to be, like, gung-ho. But that's the, the lesson that the, the Masculines are, are learning right now is to be patient and to be slow and steady and to have this very, like, patient monk type energy. They're trying to, like, be subtle about how they sort of lead us into union without being too forceful because they're afraid if they're being too if they they come too forceful that they're going to scare us away because we're so used to being independent and doing our own thing that if they come and they're like do this that we're going to be like boy what <laughs> right so they realize they have to be like they have to lead us without being without like letting us know they're leading us if that makes sense right it says, you're being guided to flow like water, blow like air, and connect with your purest intentions. Don't feel the need to rush ahead. So yes, they're, they're learning to be gentle. Um, a gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding. So if you're a divine masculine and you're watching this, move slowly. Move with subtlety and grace. Reach high, but also ask yourself how you can move with the flow of life rather than pushing against it. Do you have the capacity to refocus your gaze at this time and can you slow down? 
or take more time to soften and breathe as you move forward. All of this will be incredibly beneficial for what happens next. So they're telling the divine masculines to slow down and take it slow wow. all in due time. Hold on. Okay, guys. So I just got really excited. My kids came in for a second, but okay. So I just noticed on this card that there's like a yin yang symbol here, which represents Taoism or like the balance of light and dark. I just did um, a reading for someone. Ooh, excuse me. And the card that I drew, one of the cards that I drew <clears throat> for him was the balancing of the light and the dark, the yin and the yang, right? So this has been a, a reoccurring theme, which is coming up for the twin flames, is learning to balance your light and your dark. So, you know, in this new 5D earth, this heaven on earth, there's, we're, we're sort of getting rid of the energies of duality, which is like, you know, light, dark, black, white, um, good, evil. And they're, you know, we're sort of getting rid of this idea of all of those things. There's no opposites. There's no duality in the new world. Everything just is, you know, all experiences are experiences. They're, there's no label for them. They're not good. They're not bad. They just are. You know, we're, we're on this earth to go to earth school and to learn and to experience. So we need to stop labeling things as good or bad, dark or evil, you know, good, not good, sinful, not sinful, like, you know, sinful, pure, whatever. It, it's, it, it's not, it's, it's nothing. It just is. Okay. So that's what that's about. And I feel like the twin flames are learning this lesson of no duality, right? Okay, so we're going to do the Major Arcana cards um, with the uh, Tarot of the Heart to see if there's any repeating energy for the twins because that would mean Spirit is honing those lessons in for us. And um, then we're going to end with the messages from our person and we're going to be done. All right. And then that's it. It's a wrap, right? It's a wrap. All right, so we have the devil card, which is really deep sexual attraction, um, sexual obsession, temptation. None of these in the twin flame um, vibration are lower vibration. I mean, who doesn't want their person to be extremely sexually attracted to them, tempted by them, um, obsessed with them in a really good way? You know, in the twin flame connection, there's no such thing as lower vibrational emotions. Everything comes from the divine. So it's sexual attraction, deep sexual attraction, justice. So again, balance, learning to balance our light and our dark, learning to um, realize or realizing that there's no such thing as good or bad. It's just all experiences, learning to get rid of the labels. This is about getting what we deserve. If you know that you deserve nothing but good things because you're giving out good things, then you're going to get good things. I'm going to say it again. If you know that you deserve good things because you're giving out good things, if you know that you deserve love because you're giving out love, you're going to get love. You're going to get good things. What are you putting out there, guys? I feel like a lot of the twin flames are putting out that sexual energy too, which that's why it's coming back. The divine masculines are losing their mind. They're going crazy. Because the sexual energy is coming off their divine feminines is too strong. So there's a fresh start coming somewhere for most of the twin flames. Everybody's on a different timeline, right? In their journey. And I just spit. <laughs> but if you're here, most likely you're on the same timeline as me. That's why you're drawn to my energy, my vibration, and my frequency. Everything's energy, vibration, frequency. Um, the lily is about a pure love. The dog represents your loyalty to your twin. 
you know, you're being loyal to your twin. Your love for your twin is pure and their love for you is pure. You're both going through a huge transformation. Um, everyone's on different levels right now. I feel like most of the twins are in this stage where they're being celibate. And the sexual energy from the divine feminine is driving the divine masculines mad. But the next person that you're with, which is going to be your twin, the sexual energy when you guys get together is going to fucking, it's going to be an explosion. So, all right. And that's why, you know, spirit calls you to be celibate. So you can have that explosion, that moment of pure sexual bliss and explosion with your twin. Also, you need to clean out all of those denser energies, which are in your lower chakras from other lovers. So that when you get to see each other, it's pure divine bliss. All right, let's get the final messages from your person. If you guys haven't seen that video that I posted um, from that one channel where I can't remember her name. I'm going to have to. Anyways, it's in my community post on my channel um, where this this reader talks about. Um, I don't know if she's a reader, but she talks about um, the twin flames and why they're celibate for like the last end of their Spiritual journey before union, and it's a really good watch. And it explains a lot about the twin soul journey. If you are a twin soul, it's a must watch. All right, we're going to get the final messages from your person, and we're going to be done. I told you the sexual energy was crazy. First card we get right off the bat is, I long to taste you. <laughs> so, obviously... It's self-explanatory. There's a masculine. He is wondering, or if he's already done it, he's reminiscing about the taste of his divine feminine. Um, imagining the taste of her, what she tastes like, what she smells like, um, what she feels like. All right. Thank you for loving me. Um, your twin is saying, thank you for loving me. Even though I might be being an ass, I might not be present. I might not be here with you. I might have said some things to hurt you. Thank you for loving me because I love you and you love me. And no matter what it looks like on the outside, I am you and you are me. I don't want your money. I just want you. So I feel like the divine masculines really need to hear this. Um, she doesn't want your money. She just wants you. She doesn't want you to take care of her. She just wants you. She doesn't want you to buy her a house. She just wants you. She doesn't want your money. She just wants you. The sooner you get rid of this old belief system that you have to be the provider, that you have to take care of her in order to approach her, to even approach her and to be in her presence, um, the better off you both will be. Now, I'm not saying to come empty-handed because when you approach a goddess, you need to come with a goddess gift. Now, imagine approaching a goddess and saying, here, um, I would like this, and then giving, giving her no offering at her altar. She would laugh at you or she would be like, excuse me? <laughs> Wish not granted, right? Of course, don't come empty-handed when you approach your feminine. But you don't need to come with something fucking gigantic and like this huge fucking um luxurious lot rock i can't even talk luxurious yacht or like a million dollar engagement ring if you want to come like that then please do because i bet you she deserves it in fact we all deserve it but you know it's not needed you know come with something from the heart come with a grand gesture of love that lets her know you are into her and that you love her and you pay attention. Most importantly, that you pay attention to things that mean a lot to her and to you as well. And that's all you need. All right. So that's going to conclude the reading for our twin souls. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this. Probably um, tasty or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to book a reading with me, 
All my information is in the description box below. Um, I go through Goldie Appointment Fix and you don't even have to pay. Like you just make the appointment and book it and then I will send you an invoice and then you pay and then I do your reading. So, you know, don't even worry about having to pay up front right away. All right. So I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading and good luck.